Hi there, friend. Good morning to you. This is Lee Posky. Today I'm speaking to all professing Christians about proclaiming Christ in your daily life. The zeal of the Lord is just bursting within me, and I have to get this message to you. You know, so many times I encounter people who claim to be a Christian, and when I ask them about their testimony or to share with me what the Lord is doing in their life, more times than not, I get the kind of answer that a lost person would give. I hear things like, hey, he woke me up today, or I'm highly favored and highly blessed. You know, things like that which have an earthly perspective. When a Christian should be proclaiming the spiritual treasure that they have in Christ, that's the big deal. Let me show you something. This morning when I was reading in Psalms, the message that I'm fixing to share with you just exploded in my thoughts. And I want you to pay special attention to the excitement that's expressed about the Lord in particular. This kind of zeal should be pulsating in our, in our hearts, really even more so, because unlike during the times when the Psalms was written, we now have the hindsight of not only the Messiah and who he is, but we have the full revelation knowledge of the benefit of his finished work applied to us, to us Christians, that is. Listen to this, Psalm 71, verses 6 through 18. By thee have I been holding up, from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of thee. I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength faileth. For mine enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him, persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. O my God, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. O God, Thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now also, when I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not, until I have showed thy strength unto this generation, and thy power to everyone that is to come. Friend, that is so powerful. Let that be a reminder to you that no matter what sort of troubles you're facing, uh, whether it's old age or enemies trying to hurt you and just, just trouble that is a part of this natural life. Be thinking about and magnifying the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise him for what he's done for you. Not just that, not just that you're here on earth or, or things that are of the earth, but for his righteousness. Do you understand, dear Christian? that you're not just forgiven of sins, but you've been made the righteousness of God and given eternal life, eternal life in the Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody who has contact with you, with you should be told this. You should open your mouth and speak this. I praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He gave me life. I walk in newness of life. I'm no longer in darkness. I'm not only just forgiven, I have the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God given to me as a free gift from God through the Lord Jesus Christ. All praise is to the Lord Jesus Christ. Eternity is forever. Our time on earth here is but a vapor. We should not be focused on what's going on on earth. We should be thinking about eternity and giving all praise and glory to the Lord Jesus Christ who redeemed us, us Christians. Now, of course, this does not apply to lost people, but I'm speaking to people who profess to be Christians. And I want to conclude this 
with Colossians 3.17. Listen to this. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Friend, that's as clear as it gets. Proclaim Jesus, magnify him in everything that you do. Magnify specifically that name, the Lord Jesus Christ in everything. Be bold. Don't be timid. Be bold. Proclaim the Lord Jesus Christ, regardless of who it offends. Proclaim him in all things. Be thankful for what he's done for you. Understand what he's done for you. All right. Well, I thank you for sharing some of your valuable time with me. And all glory to the risen Lord Jesus Christ. And no glory to us whatsoever. Bye-bye.